Okay, a lot of you guys have been asking for face-off tutorials, so I'm going to show you guys what I do on my face-offs. Uh, I'm not going to BS you guys, and I'm not going to just make a cheap video and be like, this is how you win a forehand, this is how you win a backhand, this is how you do the turn and kick. Like, if you want to know how to do all that, you can just go. They have tutorials on the game where you can watch and see how to do all the face-offs. Um, you guys asked what I do on my face-offs, so I'm going to show you guys what I do, um, what works for me, and hopefully it works for you. Believe it or not, I only have three face-offs in my repertoire. I got the backhand, I got the counter to the, if they're beating me on my backhand, and then tie-ups. And I like to mix all those in. Um, a lot of the first one, the first face-off is the backhand. Um, a lot of different things go into uh, the face-offs. A lot of different variables. Uh, the handedness of the other center. Who has host. Um, I always like to let the center get host for our team because... Some people believe like there's a main host, and even if we don't get host, there's a host for us. So I always like to let the center get host because face-offs are crucial. Um, right there, that's the first face-off. Like I said, this is the first one. This is your bread and butter. This is your go-to. You need to master this, the backhand. Um, what I do is I hold the left stick down, uh, right stick over to the right. I hold left bumper, and then I time it as his hand goes down. I push down with the right stick. Um, I hold left bumper because it used to work in the older games. I don't think it works anymore, but it's just a habit, so that's what I do. But like I said, this is your bread and butter. You have to win this at a high rate. This is your go-to. Get the face-off back quick to your D. They will love that. Let me show you guys it one more time. And if you're a, if you're a righty, you just got to uh, reverse it. But like I said, this is your bread and butter. Go-to. You need to be master this. Okay. So that's the first face-off right there. It's just a simple backhand. Um, it is a timing thing, though. So you got to master it. You got to get good at the timing. If they're beating you on, if they're beating you on your backhand, the second faceoff is the counter. It's the same thing. You come out in the backhand. It looks like you may go to your, you might win it on your backhand. Same thing, but I go up to the left, and over to the right and down. That faceoff will win. That'll be the counter to if they're beating you on your backhand. You can win that um, at a high rate. Let me show you guys it one more time. Basically, it's the same thing. Your your right stick to the right. As he starts to drop the puck, you go up to the left and then swirl over to the right and then down. There you guys go. Let me show you an instant replay what I'm doing with my sticks because it's hard. It's kind of hard to uh, describe what I'm doing if you don't know. All right, stop. Here we go. Okay, as you see, like, it looks like I'm on my I'm on my backhand. It looks like I might do the quick backhand. I go up to the left, and that's not going to stick out of the way. And you see where the red is on the left, on the right side? That's where you want to aim when you start to come over to knock his stick out of the way. And then where the dot is right now is where you want to finish, and then you just want to aim down with it. And there you guys go. That's the counter right there. And now the third face-off is tie-ups. You want to mix these all in together. What I like to do is I like to come out with the backhand and just dominate with them with the backhand until they beat me with it. Here, let me show you the tie-up. It looks like I might go on my backhand. I'm holding the right stick over. As he starts to drop the puck, I let go of the right stick, and then I push through with the left. All right, I didn't get the nice clean tie-up, but I still did get the tie-up. Let me show you that, guys. Show you that again. Like I said, I like to come out in the backhand and dominate with the backhand until they start to beat me. Um, but if I am in the offensive zone, I'll throw in some tie-ups and different stuff just to um, try to catch him off guard. Let me show you guys again. On the backhand, as he starts to drop the puck, I let go of the right stick, and I push through with the left. See, there you go. Got the nice, clean tie-up. Those are crucial, and uh, they're nice to help your uh, wingers get in there better. They don't have to try to fight for the puck. Um, let me show you another tie-up. There's another tie-up that I like to do, or I don't put my uh, stick. I don't go on the backhand. I like it because, in, you know, like I said, all the stuff I do is on my backhand. And the center doesn't know what I'm going to do. He doesn't know if I'm going to do the quick draw. He doesn't know if I'm going to do the counter. He doesn't know if I'm going to tie up. So I got three face-offs right there on the backhand. But the second tie-up that I really like to do, what I just did right there, I didn't get it clean. But what I like to do is just leave my stick there. And I just push through with the left. And you just time it with the left stick and you push through. I'm not getting it clean because he's putting a stick down. Um, when he puts a stick down like that, I would probably end up just doing the uh, go to the backhand tie up. But let me let me go over the tie ups real quick. I will rarely ever do them in the defensive zone or at these two face off dots or at the center ice face off dot. Um, only time I'll really do it is if I'm dominating the center in the face off circle, 
And if I want to try, if I'm on like a power play and I want to try to get my wing um, a breakaway, if these two face off dots right here, they are good to do, uh, especially in forwards. If you have three forwards and just a goalie and you don't want to win the puck back to the D and you just want to get possession of the puck real quick and get into the zone. Um, but for these face off dots, uh, what you need to do, what I like to do is you need to call it out. You got to let your wings know that you're tying them up. Be like, tie up. And then you need to tell them which wing to come in. For all the face-off dots on this left side, you want to be tie-up and you want to tell the left wing to come in. Because think about it. If the left wing is over here, I'm tied up right here. And then if the right wing comes in for the puck and he gets tied up and he doesn't get it or whatever, look at all this open ice you give up. Look at all this open ice you're giving them if he comes in and he doesn't get the puck. So on the left side of the ice, you always want the left wing to come in. And you want the right wing to stay here uh, for support. Um, on the right side, you always want the right wing to come in and you want the left wing to stay over here for support, okay? Um, down here in the offensive zone, uh, you, like I said, still same deal. All the face-up dots on the left are the same. On this one, you want the left wing to come in. But if you wanted to do like the play where you do the tie-up and the left wing comes in and then the right wing goes back door, um, you might want to call it out. And then as you, after you get the tie-up as the center, you want to make sure you get back on D. Um, but yeah, so over here, if you do the tie-up, you want the right wing to come in, and you want the left wing to stay here for, like, support or to go back door, um, just in case. Because like I said, if the left wing comes in, we're all over here. Look, all the players will be bunched up over here, and then look at all this open ice you're giving them if you do that. So that's what that's just something for the tie-ups right there. Also, let me show you guys something real quick. Um, the reason I like... If you notice, I'm doing most of all my face-offs are basically on the backhand, so I don't rarely ever win the puck to the right D. It just is what it is. But what I like about the quick draw McGraw, the quick uh, backhand, is look how quick I get the puck back to the D. Look at that. It went all the way down to the um, boards on the other end. Um, what's good about that is, is it gets the puck to your defenseman with time to think and react. It gets the puck to him quick. Uh, he's able to make a nice breakout pass. Um, nowadays, all the wingers, all they're doing is they're just rushing the points. So, all they do, all they're going to do is just rush the points. And if you win those slow sissy kick uh, face-offs, I, I have played for uh, top clubs, D, where I have uh, centermen that win those slow sissy kicks. I would just tell them, don't even win the face-off. It's just better that you let them get the puck and we all stay in position because you get the puck so slow. And like I said, all wingers do nowadays is they just pressure the points. And you get the puck so slow, it's just that one poke. Stick checking is so effective this year. It just takes one poke, and they're going the other way with it. So there you guys go. That's my face-off tutorial. Like I said, um, it's not conventional. I, like I said, I don't win anything on the forehand. It just is what it is. I like the backhand. Um, like I said, this is what works for me. You guys have seen my face-off percentage. You've seen my stats. I have A pluses almost all the way across the board. You see my face-off percentages. I'm always in the 70s or higher. This is what works for me. Like I said, hopefully it works for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you could subscribe, comment, and like, I'd appreciate that. And I have a video coming out for you guys, uh, hopefully tomorrow. And if you're a sub or you like my videos, I would re really recommend checking it out. I think a lot of people will like the idea that I have that I'm doing for you guys. Um, so, yeah, thank you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.